Well, certainly the biggest problem with this team is the offensive line. Yeah. And he, you just he, hired a legendary offensive yeah. lineman well, from this era. Maybe he can block, too, because that's needed right now. The Colts <laughs> have been struggling. Back to you guys in the studio. Uh, he learned, Jeff Saturday, some of the best coaches out there. We'll have that coming up at 6 o'clock. Back to you. Yep, and that news conference coming from the Colts complex later tonight at 730. Thanks, fellas. Well, this is certainly a move a lot of Colts fans have wanted for weeks. Absolutely. Now they're actually anxious to see Saturday and how he's going to lead the team. Emily Longnecker live downtown where she's been talking with Colts fans tonight. Emily, what are they saying? Well, first, let me say it was already going to be a big night for sports in this town with the Pacers here at Gainbridge Fieldhouse facing off against New Orleans. And then the news broke about the Colts and the overwhelming feeling from Colts fans that we talked to was it's about time. I think it's a really, really exciting, exciting thing for the, the city. And I think that it really hopefully will be ushering in you know, a change in culture, which I think the city has been yearning for on a lot of levels. And hopefully we'll bring back, you know, a feeling of camaraderie and, and a, a sense of, of family, which I believe when, when Jeff was here, he was part of that team mentality and, and part of, of, of a team that had that kind of culture. Hopefully Jeff can turn it around and motivate, this, motivate the team, um, put them in the right direction. Fans telling me they've cried in a lot of beers already this season, but this move today, hearing that Jeff Saturday is the interim uh, head coach of the Colts, has got them feeling hopeful and excited to see what comes next. Guys.